What's up, YouTube? My name is Gene Spring, you guys, part 29 for my playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As always, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, like, what are you doing watching this video? Go down there, hit that subscribe button for me. Also, guys, don't forget, check me out on Twitch at Gene25 as I stream four days a week. So turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. So guys, in the last episode, we actually discovered the Tabantha region and the Rito village within inside of it. And in this episode, we are actually going to be starting our fourth and final Divine Beast quest. But before we even do that, we, have, we actually have to head down to the little uh, shop down here and buy ourselves the Snow Quill set, which is the armor for this place. Where's it at? Is it over here? Where's it at? It actually keeps us warm in the snowy areas, which is where we have to go in this episode. I actually want to buy arrows too. Is this it? Yeah, right here. Here's the set. Let's see the price. <laughs> Bruh! A thousand rupees? How much is it? Six? Oh my. Bruh! It's 2,150 rupees. Like, what I do? Break a window? This is ridiculous. Hopefully, we have some stuff to sell. We're going to check it out right now. Right here, right now. Let's look to sell. Um, We're going to sell. Do we have any, like, high gemstones, like rubies or stuff? There we go. We got some rubies right here. We're going to sell four of these. We're going to have to sell our topazes and some of our sapphires too, but that's all right. That's all right. They're charging us a fortune. Like, we come here to save the town and everything, and they're just out here like, give me all your money and everything. Like, we're here to help you guys out. You can't help us out. Like, it's just ridiculous. I actually want to go out and buy arrows too, so, because we have like, I think one regular arrow left, <laughs> which is funny, but now we sold a lot of our gemstones right here, so we can buy our... Nice little snow quill set. This is actually like a cooler set and everything. Like it makes you look like one of the Rito birds, which is pretty cool. And it's nice and warm. Gives you cold resistance. We're actually going to check out if we can go to the uh, Great Fairy Fountain and upgrade this too. So we're going to check that out in just a bit. There's actually a shop right here too, where we can get the arrows that I was looking for. But yeah, let's get going to that shop after they just like stole from us basically like they screwed us over like what the heck's their problem but here we go we got some arrows right here we're just gonna take all of them there's 15 here i would buy bomb arrows but they're 200 for five arrows like they're ripping me off again it's ridiculous but now since we did all that we can actually go to our map where we go where do we want to go again we want to go down to this kakariko village right here and fast travel here so we can go upgrade our armor at the fairy fountain Fast traveling to Kakariko Village, we can actually just walk right outside of it and get this fairy fountain up here. But guys, I am so excited for Friday, September 20th. Link's Awakening Remaster comes out for the Switch. I'm going to be doing a 100% playthrough, so make sure you be here. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. And like that video up when it comes out, because I have a feeling it's going to be like one of my new favorite Zelda games. Like, I just love the 2D games. The last one was for like 3DS. It was a Link Between Worlds, and that was just phenomenal. It was just phenomenal, so I'm excited for this one. But we can actually talk to the Great Fairy right now, and hopefully we have some materials to actually upgrade it to level 2, or maybe just level 1. But we'll see, we'll see. Let's enhance away. Okay, okay, we have enough to upgrade everything. We just need three red choo-choo jellies. So we can do all three of them, upgrade them to level 1. I wonder what level 2 takes. Hopefully it's nothing, like, substantial that we need to go, like, out the way for. <laughs> but there we go, level 1. Make it a bit stronger. Now we can upgrade the other two real quick. Let's see what... It takes for level two. Let's see. Yeah, we know that. We know that. If you upgrade it to level two, you can actually enhance it. Where's our snow? Oh, we cannot. What do we need? We need warm sulfina. But it's all good. We'll just upgrade this to level one for right now, and then we'll be fine. There we go. Upgrade the tunic part now, and then we can upgrade the boots and get moving along, which is nice. Which is just dandy. But like I was saying, dude, Link's Awakening is a 2D Zelda game. So it's something totally different from this, but it is still so much fun. Like... I literally love the 2D ones. It's going to be phenomenal. And it's like a new art style. And like, if you guys haven't seen it already, just go check it out on YouTube real quick. But it's going to be such a fun game. But now that we have upgraded our armor to level 1, we're actually going to head back to the Rito Village and talk to the main bird, like the big, big boy. I don't even know his name. But we're going to talk to him and start our fourth Divine Beast uh, quest. Which is going to be fun. So we can actually just hit this button and just go back to the village. Right her. There we go. We can fast travel. Here we are. We made it back to the Rito Village. Huzzah! Let's go. We gotta find Mr. Big Bird over here. But if you guys haven't known, I have finally been affiliated with, with Twitch, which means I can actually get emotes. So I can actually make one emote right now, which is pretty cool. Is this main guy? No, it's not main guy. But I can actually make one emote, but I don't know what to do. So if you guys do follow me on Twitch, let me know in the comment section down below, what should my first emote be? Like, I don't know what to make it. But here's Mr. Big Bird guy. We're actually going to talk to him real quick. His name is Kennelly. 
He is like the main Rito bird, the king of this little Rito village. We're gonna talk to him and get the main quest from him. Here we go. We now get the main objective for this quest. We actually have to head over this way and talk to somebody else. Wait, is it this person right here? Where is it? Who do we gotta talk to? Nope, it's not you. Let's check it on our map or not our map in our adventure log real quick. No, we can't even actually yeah, we can go on our map and just click here. We gotta head down here. Is it this person on the flight deck? Is it you punk? Who is it? It's down here a little bit more. There we go. Right down here it's looking like. So right here? We're right on it. So it's not here. Or is it this person? No, it's not you. We actually have to head back up to the next floor to go talk to the next person. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Just keep making our way around this little spiral staircase. Dude, just like like I was saying in the last video, like this village is so cool. Like, come on. You can't beat this. You can't beat this village right here. Is he down here? Is this the person? No, no, that's not him. We were just there. We were just there. He has to be up another floor, which is annoying. That's the only bad part about these little spiral staircases right here is it's just like you don't really know where the objective's at, like what floor it's on. So we're just going to keep making our way right around here. It was probably like right next to the king. So like, where's the king at? This person right here? It's got to be this person right here. But after we get done talking to Slade, she actually sends us to Rivali's flight deck, which is a flight deck that, that we had to go to complete the mission. So we're actually going to switch our armor right off the bat. Like, come on. Why, why aren't we wearing our snow cool set? Put that on. Get some cold resistance going. And we actually had to head. Where's it at? Where's it at on our map? Right here. We're going to mark it. Actually, it's already marked. We just have to go this way. So now we can actually get turning this way. And I'm just going to jump off here. Yay. Oh, come on. We can make it. There's a shrine right over there that we're actually going to going to complete because it serves as a good fast travel point on our way over there. But I'm hoping we can see some enemies, dude. We got to rip on them with Urbosa's Fury. Like, you guys haven't seen it in full effect yet. So I'm hoping we can see some and just, well, bam, just get saucing on them. This is just so much fun. But like I was saying, you can see the uh, how cold it does get over here. And luckily, we have our snow cool set. If we actually upgraded it one more time. <gasps> well, if we upgrade it one more time, we can actually uh, get unfreezable. But I, but I gasped because we got all these enemies here. And now I can show you guys this. What's up, everybody? What you want? Get over here. Who wants it? Ready? Yee! Oh! Look at that. Killed him. Shocked him off the horse. Shocked this one off the horse. Get out of here. What you want? Oh, our spear broke. We're going to change to our master sword. But yes, that's what I want to show you guys. Like, no matter how many enemies are in there, you can just send it. And if you have three of them, you can just send all three right off the bat and just merc on people. Oh, what's up, Lizalfos? Mmm, mmm, saucing, yo. And we got the Rook's protection. So as you can tell from the beginning of the game, we are so much stronger now with all these abilities and everything. We can just wreck on people. We got more hearts and everything. We just slam on some fools. But now after just slamming on everybody, we can actually head up to the shrine and get completing it. And then down to the Revali's flight deck in order to start the main quest to start opening up the Divine Beast. But we can just make quick left here. So yeet baby. And get up here to this shrine. This shrine is called Path of Hidden Winds. We actually it's just like all the things like I said in the last episode is basically based around wind around here in the Rito Village, as you could tell. But we can actually just fly up here with our glider, just pull it out, follow the wind, and just keep just keep doing this. It's fairly simple for right now. Oh, let me up there. There's actually a chest right there. If you actually want it, you just fly over there real quick. But now we can actually oh land on this path right here. Oh no, we missed a path! No! <laughs> Come on. Luckily, we got these, like, little glider things here. Can we actually land on this? Yeah, we can. Yo, that guardian's trying to snipe us. What a punk, dude. Where's he at? Where's he at? <laughs> what you want? <laughs> Yo, we just picked them. We just hit him right in the eye for a critical hit from all the way up here. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so funny. But now we can just keep making our way up here. And we actually have to figure out a whole new way up here. Because, as you can tell, this wind does not... Like, glide us up all the way. So, I think if we drop down and get another boost, does it lift us any higher? No, it does not. Come on, try this again. There is a hidden wind path, like, like the name actually says. Oh, we just took him, took fall damage. That's ridiculous. So, we actually have to find the hidden wind path. Is it behind it? Let's try this. Might be over here. Is it over here? Yes, look at this. See, there's a hidden wind path. It is right behind it. So, we just have to find it. Now I can go up here and finish off this shrine. That one was just fairly easy. You just had to just glide, basically. 
with that shrine out the way, we can actually just move on to Revali's fight deck. And what is that over there? I see like a light. Oh, it's a little cabin over there. There's actually like a little mini game. I believe it's like a bowling snow mini game. If I, if I remember correctly. But here is Revali's flight deck. It's called the flight range over here. And as you can see, there's a bunch of like updrifts, everything with the wind and a bunch of targets that we have to do. But we're going to head up here and get grooving along with this main divine beast mission. And what we got over here? Look at this. Look, they got bows for us and everything. Look at this, this is a swallow bow, it's for like the birds and everything, we can actually pick up these arrows and everything, and we're actually going to switch to the swallow bow. It's not as strong, but it has better range, so that's why I like to use it, for this mission in particular. Now we got this cool little cutscene, look at my boy dude, that bird just looks so sick. Just look how cool they look. Yeah. This is Teba, he's, at a, he's the retail warrior for this place. I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. So this guy actually likes to keep to himself and everything, as you could tell. But we're gonna talk to him right now and let him know who we actually are. Mm -hmm. We are Link with the Sheikah Slate and all that. And we are here to save Va Meto. So we're just gonna keep talking to him and then he's gonna get us a chance to do this flight range challenge. So guys, in order to get Teba to actually come with us to help the, destroy the Divine Beast, we have to prove to him that our archery skills are on point. So we have to hit five of these targets. Look how far this bow shoots. I'm gonna updrift again here and regain our stamina. I think we just have to hit five targets or something. Like, look at this, dude. It's just that easy. How many more we gotta do? I think it's five, he said, but... Like, look how easy that was. Look how easy that was. We just did that in like 10 seconds. Just started ripping on these shots and everything. He's like, he didn't trust our skills and everything. Now he now he believes us. He's like, yeah, yo, you a skilled archer. We can actually go destroy Bob Meadow together. Let's go. So since we defeated and proved our worth to Teba, he actually gives us this chest with a bow that he created. Let's get it, baby. It is the Falcon Bow. It's pretty cool. It shoots farther than the Swallow Bow, I believe, which I want to use now. I want to use the Falcon Bow. Let's pull it out and switch it up. No, why do I, I go to every single thing except for the, the bows? But now we can actually keep moving along with this mission. We just have to talk to him real quick. And we say, okay, now we're ready to face the Divine Beast. We're actually going to open him up. And he gives us 20 bomb arrows. So this is what we're going to need to take him down in order to open him up. And we say, we are ready. Let's get it, baby. I'm so ready to take this thing down. Look at us. We hop on the boy. We hop on Teva. Look how cool this is. Like I was saying, this is one of my favorite... Uh, Little uh, opening up the Divine Beast missions. I said this when we were doing the one for the camel where we were riding on the seal. But this one we get to ride on a bird. Like, come on, man. This is sick. We're flying through the air. There's Bomb Meadow. Look at this. So he kind of flies for us. We just have to, like, shoot the bows and the bomb arrows. We just have to find out where to shoot them at. And there they are. You can see those little things right there. He has this protective shield around him. It's a barrier that we have to take out. We're gonna go over to Pan. We're gonna the plan. We're gonna shoot those cannons out with the bomb arrows. So that's what we gotta do while Teba's just flying around doing his thing. We can do our thing. Let's go. Let's blow out them cannons. Let's get it. It's targeting us. So we're gonna bring out our bow, switch to our bomb arrows, say yeet on that, drop down, hit that twice. Oh no, we need to hit this. That's it. It's done. And I believe Teba will actually catch us. So we're or no, we have like a limited uh. Stamina here, so we're just gonna keep flying around once we drop and like go back up It gives us our stamina back. So there's Teba just flying around this thing's trying to shoot us We have the Falcon bow so we can actually shoot very far with this thing Oh, uh, not far enough. We we're so close. We gotta get a little bit closer. I'm gonna do this now. Say so yeet Yeet. Does that hit? Yeah, it does. That should take it out. Oh We missed the last one. Come on. Yeet Yeet. Come on get it. Can we hit it? There it is. That takes that one out. We can actually fly around to the other side now. We have two more. Only thing that sticks is that we move fairly slow in here. But we can actually see that one now. We're just going to start poking at it. Now we need to get a little bit closer there. Did we, did we pick it? Did we get it once? Yeah, we did get it once. We can actually hit it one more time. I think that will do it. Oh, we are down to six more shots, so we actually had to... Uh, Use our last shots wisely here. <laughs> but there's three of the cannons taken out out of the four. So we're just going to glide over here and use the last one. But look at this barrier right here. This is just crazy. It looks so destructive. Like, I feel like if you touch it, you're just done. Like, you're dead instantly, it looks like. But here's the last cannon. Actually, if you fly over top, these things won't shoot at you. So we're just going to take this thing out right here. 
Oh, we missed that first shot. Got that next one. Last one. Yee, baby. Get out of my face. Hit him. Yes, there's the fourth and final cannon. And we destroy this barrier right here. Let's go. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I think the bird is so cool looking. It's like a bird falcon. I don't know what it is. Hawk. Can't really tell the difference when it's just like a guardy looking thing. Well done, Link. That thing is history. Look at that thing. It's enormous. It's just enormous. Dude, Teb is so cool, too. I think Teb is a sick little side character. Oh, we got hit. He got hit. Yeah, see? Alright, buddy. We got this. I can make it back. You head down to middle. Oh yeah, we got this. Thanks, Teba. It's all you. I'll see you afterwards. Go heal up. <laughs> Look at his little thumb was up with his feather. That looked funny. <laughs> Dude, look how sick this is. This is what I was saying. It's just so cool. Here we go. We make our way to Vomido. And we actually scan our, scan our Sheikah Slate. So we got a fast travel point here. And look at this. It glows up. And we can actually get started on the Divine Beast, guys, well, which is awesome. I've seen that face before. I had a feeling you would show up eventually. My boy Revali talking. Wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? Yes, sir. <laughs> if so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. We know this. We do this every Divine Beast. <laughs> I think this one I like the best. That I'm not too sure. I feel like I say that every single one. <laughs> can you make it there? Yeah, we can do it. We made it up here. Why can't we make it over there? But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Do me a favor right now. Scroll down a little bit. Click that like button for me. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already. But guys, in the next episode, we're actually going to be defeating our fourth and final divine beast. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.